Today's Food with Thought comes from the 14th chapter of Luke, verses 13 and 14, which reads, But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Now here is Jesus calling on people to simply do the right thing. Jesus said this to a room of religious leaders and believers that believed themselves to be holy, they believed themselves to be righteous, but they were only holy and righteous in their eyes, not in the eyes of Christ himself. You see, the religious leaders in this setting, Jesus, he realized that they loved to sit in the best places at the feast, which Jesus, in seeing what they were doing, he despised their actions. Jesus, he despised the religious leaders because they were all about themselves. They were selfish. They weren't about anybody else. I say to you today that we should not ever be so selfish that we are apathetic to the plight of others. So we see Jesus use that setting to teach a very valuable lesson to the religious leaders, and it becomes a very valuable lesson for us as well. We'll see that Jesus, he had said, when you give a feast, why don't you invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind as well? You see, Jesus, he was encouraging the religious leaders to invite those over who are in need, invite them over to the feast so that they can join in, so that they can eat and be filled. So the notion here, it should be obvious. When one is in need and you have the ability to help, you should go over and beyond in helping. Be a blessing to somebody. But sadly, again, we live in a world where it often seems that those who have the ability to help are too selfish and too greedy to help, while those who have very little to help often end up being the ones to help. I say to all of you today, let us do our best to help those that are in need, especially when we have the ability to do so. Help, whether that help is materially, monetarily, emotionally, or spiritually, help the one that stands in the need of help. When you do this, Jesus has said that you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. This is a repayment I want you to understand, a payment of eternal peace and eternal joy in the kingdom of the Lord. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.